I'm Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. This is Movement Fix Monday, and we're gonna talk about improving your jump rope, improving your double unders. I like to decrease the number of variables in, the, in jumping rope, whether that's a single under, a double under, whatever it is. I wanna decrease variables because when I have variables, I'm more likely to hit my feet, I'm more likely to get ankle or foot pain, I'm more likely to have back pain when jumping, etc. The first variable that I like to decrease with people is holding the feet together when you jump. So if you look at my feet real quick, a lot of people, when they jump, they'll jump with their feet apart like this, and what happens sometimes is that when they, they land, their foot will dive in. So when the feet are, are far apart, they can be here, they can be here, they can be here, they can be here every time you jump. I would rather they be completely held together like this. So go ahead and come back up here. So if you hold your feet together, you're decreasing a variable. So if I scoot back, can you see me full? So if I'm here and I go like this, my feet can just kind of go all over the place. So I may hit on the sides, I may just get a repetitive overuse kind of injury on the side of the ankle and have pain in my foot whenever I jump. So think about this, when you're jumping, hold your feet together, hold your, and, and squeeze your knees together, and think about from the waist down, it's one unit. Rather than having two legs, you're, you're kind of gluing your legs together and you're jumping with one solid leg rather than having two legs. So that way you have equal loading side to side and then you don't have weird foot stuff, weird knee stuff happening. The second variable that I wanna get rid of is people losing control of their back when they jump. And so this would be the person that they're doing their jumping and you see them from the side and they kind of arch or their hips kind of shift back and forth every time they land. That is another variable because that can change every time you jump. And so what's happening with their spine is they're jumping so they, they jump, and then they land, and then they jump, and then they land, and their back is shifting and moving. I would rather have this be a completely non-moving sort of unit when, when they jump. So it's just like this. So rather than loading, 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 variable, variable, variable when they jump, I want them to uh, change that. So <clears throat> the way we can do that is a, a simple drill. Now there's a thing in neurology that when things fire together, they wire together. So basically, when I activate my core muscles, when I squeeze through here to try to get that stable and to not move, I need to pattern that with my ankles moving. Because if I just try to jump and squeeze this, I may not have it click automatically. And so what we can do is if you go down into a plank, and I'm just going go down into a push-up plank. So I'm gonna go into a push-up plank and I'm gonna think about squeezing my butt, squeezing my stomach, and this is great, you know, great like plank exercise, but if you go here and you put your feet together and then you rock back and forth, what you're doing is you're training your brain how to create stiffness through the trunk while the ankles and the feet move. And then what you can do after that is grab your rope. And I have, let me just make a note of this. If you can see this, this is my personal jump rope handle. And you might be wondering, why do I have a pink rope on this? And why are all the, why are all the ropes in here pink? Okay? Because I'm married, all right? And so when Ryan has his beautiful rope, his wife steals it. And she puts a pink rope in his handles. This is the Dr. RD handle. This isn't the Alana handle. Anyways, I'll make do. If you're wondering why, I hope you're wondering why I have a pink rope. Okay, so if I, don't do, if I do the drill on the ground, or I do the, I do the plank, and then what I'm training my brain to do is create tension through here while the ankles move. Now I have a window of opportunity to pattern that in the actual jump. So I'm gonna think about two things here. I, I know I need to squeeze my feet together, squeeze my knees together lightly. You don't have to crush your knees together. I'm gonna think about a little bit of crunch here, just like I did in the plank. And then from there, I'm gonna try not to hit anything. From there, you can do your jumps, trying to keep stiff through the spine rather than giving way every time you land and then getting some back pain or back irritation and then we're decreasing the variables of the foot. So those are the two biggest uncontrolled variables I see in people's jumping when they ask me why can't they jump or why do they have pain when they jump. So you gotta think about those two things. That's Movement Fix Monday for this week. Make sure you like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Movement Fix. Follow us on Instagram at the Movement Fix and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next week.